Okay, student, let us see what is there in this question. Two spheres have the same positive charge. A point M is midway between the two spheres. Along the line joining the spheres, what is true about the electric field and the electric potential at M? So when they write electric field, you have to read it as electric field strength. So they are actually talking about E. And when they talk about electric potential, they're talking about V. Okay. So we have to comment on the midpoint between the two uh, charges. So clearly the electric field will be zero. Why? Because this uh, uh, positive charge, uh, this positive charge will be creating an electric field which will be moving away from it at the point M like this and a similar charge or the same amount of charge because the charge is same, the distances are the same. So even the magnitude is same, but that is created in the opposite direction, thereby canceling these two. And so the net is zero. What is the formula for the electric field strength? That is K capital Q divided by R square. So K is constant in both of the cases. Q is constant in both of the cases and R is from the center to this. And that is also same because it is a midpoint. Now, what about the potential now? So potential is a bit dicey, but now we have done so many questions from the paper two in regards to electric potential by using the similar concept. We have done so many questions now, so you should be good with this. But anyways, let me explain you what is happening. So uh, what happens here is, let us say this is, this is charge one and this is charge two. This is the distance. So midway at any point, you would be first finding the potential because of one and then you find the potential because of two and then you add them and then you find the total potential. This is what is the physics in this. But, but what is happening is that the formula for potential is KQ divided by R. So lesser is the R, the distance between the center of the sphere and the point M. Lesser is the distance more becomes the potential. So much so that if this R becomes tending to zero, the potential will become infinite. But that is definitely not the case. R cannot be zero. At the end of the day, this R will be equal to the radius R, we can say, because we want to talk only about the surfaces of the spheres. Like this. So this potential will be maximum here at the surface. And after that, the potential will be reducing. Because overall, the, the variation is somewhat like this, isn't it? If you are talking about one single uh, sphere or one single charge. So the potential here is having some maximum value. And at the midpoint, so V1 is there, V2 is there, but the values are lesser. So much so that V1 plus V2 are still lesser. So that is still positive, but it is the minimum value like this. And here again, the value will become very high. So it will go somewhat like this. So this value is again higher. This value is again higher. And within the two spheres, the value of the potential will be constant. So there was some paper two question. They have taken uh, this question from that. Like it's clearly similar to that question. I would say like kind of same. So inside of a sphere, the potential is not changing. It is always constant because inside a sphere, the potential is equal to the potential, which is at the surface. So this will not change. This will not change. It will be constant and there will be a bowel shape there and having a minimum positive value at this point. So this is the point where V is equal to V1 plus V2 is minimum and electric field is zero. So E net is equal to zero, which means that E1 is equal to E2. So this Question is very important from the point of view of paper two also. So this question becomes highly, uh, uh, quite important for us. So uh, you must remember these things. Okay. Okay, dear students. So accordingly, the electric field will be zero and it will be minimum positive value. So A will be the correct answer. No doubt about that. Okay, dear students. So this is Professor Varun. Thanks for watching the video. Please share the video with all your friends. Also, join the YouTube channel if you want to access the similar kind of explanation for all of the topics as per the online course is concerned and also for all of the paper two questions. Yes, you can join the YouTube channel now and access both of these. All the best.